What happens in sex therapy? I'm sorry I don't know. But I see no one has answered yet, and I hope they do, good luck to you, I hope whatever comes of it is helpful. Just wishing you the best so you can get through it. Just a reminder. If you don't want to have sex, you don't have to. Ever if that's what feels right for you. Who told you that you had to go to therapy? You are not obligated to do that. Therapy is for when you are ready to face things. You have worked yourself up over something you don't have to do against your will. It is also okay to not want to have sex. You should let go of every scrap of pressure you are putting on yourself to be normal. That is just social pressure. I was the same way and I very much regret my decision to be normal in order to have a normal dating life. Respect your own boundaries. It doesn't matter if they are born out of your trauma. They still should be respected honestly probably should be respected even more in that case. When you're ready to face it if you ever are, then go to therapy. Don't make yourself sick trying to force things. That isn't good for your mental health either. Be gentle with yourself. Go at your own pace. I went to one to help me get over a lot of repression, similar to you. He was really good. Meet me where I was at and use the language I was comfortable with. The biggest help was just how normal he made the topic feel and he was super accepting and safe to talk to. But let me tell you, I was uncomfortable. Especially the first session. But he really helped me realize I don't need to feel embarrassed taking to him. And while facing my feelings on sex definitely was an uncomfortable and sometimes really upsetting experience. It was never because of him or any way he made me feel, but because I was actually finally able to look at and let myself feel my issues. If this is something you really want to do then you should be okay with some discomfort, but it should be easier with every visit. Y'all have to confront it either way, best with a professional. Definitely not sex, and don't let anyone fool you thinking that it does, because IT. So, does. Not. Not a mental health professional. But I've heard Emder is a great option for helping people move through trauma. You're literally the person who needs this most, no? It may be comforting to have someone to talk with. I felt very comfortable with the woman who counseled me. One thing to keep in mind is that having sex is not making love. If you find a person you truly love, you will see that sex is a beautiful expression of that love. Just having sex is not making love. Two separate things. Join the Sex Repulse Trauma Ace community. Well I'm just a low libido asexual. But for me, snuggling is called going all the way. You might just be asexual and that's okay. You might consider looking into ember therapy or something similar to address the trauma. Please know that's okay to not want to have sex or have the desire maybe look up asexual to help ease your mind start accepting yourself, it's okay. Sex is not important at all you can live a normal happy life without it I despise it as well sometimes. You are a virgin with trauma? What kind of trauma made you despise sex? I have been to sex therapy but I don't feel it did anything for me at all. It's basically just talking about it, just like a shrink. Just get an escort and go from there haha. Make sure it's somewhat high-end and they won't judge at all. Circle jerk docs the pivot man? 